Check it, check it, yo, this originated Godfather Streetwear Fashion Carl Kanai. Giving a shout out to Hip Hop DE. One love forever, Brooklyn, New York City. It's all about living life to the fullest and uh, trusting the process. You know, after doing this for 25 years, I've learned that um, you gotta just go along with destiny. And that's kind of what I've been doing for the last 25 years. Cause you know, it's kind of unheard of for a kid from Brooklyn, New York to just have an idea of dressing himself, to start dressing his friends. And one thing kind of led to another and no former experience just the love of the business and love of the streets and love of the culture was kind of what made it happen. Yeah, I mean, you know, in terms of it being hard, it's like, it's funny, man, it's like my grind hasn't stopped since day one, you know, and I don't even look at it as a grind anymore. I just look at it like this is what I'm here to do. I just gotta do what I gotta do. You know, like my worth ethics hasn't changed. You know, there was a time in my life when it's like, um, when the competition was eating me alive and I had a decision to make to either give in or to fight against it. So I started doing, I started going to the gym and working out. You know, it helped, mentally it just helped me because mentally I felt like they may be beating me in terms of popularity, but physically I could be stronger than them and I'm gonna outlast all of them. You know, that's, I think mentally I always set up competition in my mind that keeps me motivated to get to the next level. You know, I think competition is good though, it's healthy for the business. You know, obviously, you know, I know that I can't be the only clothing designer out there, but I do know that there's no other designer that could ever say that they started streetwear movement before me, not anyone. Because when we started, there was no designers that catered to the street, to the kids on the streets. There was no designer that was using um, rappers and hip hop and clothing advertisements or anything like that. So my clothing represented the kid on the street, represented the culture. And we feel good about that because look what happened to the culture now. It's blowing up. It's a billion dollar industry. And you know, we could say that we started that. So that's a good thing to know. Well, you know, I think that, you know, Carl Kanai is an emotional feeling. I feel like a lot of these guys, they could always go back in time and remember the era when they grew up wearing Carl Kanai and what it meant to them and the status that it gave them in the hood. You know, like everybody knew if you had on Carl Kanai that you was repping hard and that you had good quality clothing on and you represented a culture that represented you back. And they knew like a lot of those other designers didn't really care about them, didn't care about placing them in ads and things like that. And I talk about advertisement and stuff like that because there's a lot of designers out there that use the culture and when they feel the culture is not for them, they leave it alone and they want to come back and dip in it. Then they use styles from the culture and things like that. And Carl and I, we are that culture. And I think the guys and the rappers and hip hop, they respect that. You know, just like the other night when I, um, Buster Rhymes performed at the party and I haven't seen him in about a year and a half and then he gave me a big hug and he said he just wanted to thank me and I said what's up he says man because you taught us how to be a businessman before we even know what business was about you know you took things to a whole nother level from day one and when he said that it kind of touched me man because I never really looked at it like that I was just kind of just doing my thing staying in my lane but now that I see how many people I touched and what this culture meant to them and what they gave back to me, it just means a, means a lot. And it gives me that energy to want to keep doing this for another 25. Well, I'm very, very hands-on with it. You know, direction is set for me in terms of what we want to do. We have an amazing staff. You know, I want to give a shout out to one designer in particular, um, Anna, who's part of the European design team, you know, she's amazing. She's the first person that I've worked with that really could take my vision and take it to a whole nother level and even beyond areas where I was thinking about. And that energy is good because you know you can't conquer the world by yourself. You need a team of strong people that believes in you and believes in the culture and those things help us to transcend towards the next millennium for Carl and I.
Yeah, but you know, those times are different though. You know, times are different right now because you know, a lot of these guys are getting big money thrown at them to do certain things and to wear certain clothing brands. And you have a lot of manufacturers coming up to these guys want to start their own brand. So the game has changed, but the love and the respect is still there. So once that's there, you know, you can't really go wrong. But there's still plenty of entertainers out there who got love for Carl Kanai, has been rocking my stuff and they do it out of love, other people's business. But today, at the end of the day, again, we're still moving forward as a culture, which I think is important. And not only that, the doors that Carl Connors opened up for all of them to go out there and do their own clothing brands is crazy. So, you know, even if they don't rock my stuff, they still being part of the culture and still being part of the idea that I had from day one, which is to dress yourself and don't depend on nobody else to, to make you look hot. Yeah, I think hip hop is great right now. I think it's um it's, it's going to the next level. I think that it's changed and I feel like the minute you don't go along with the culture what's happening, then it's time for you to leave it alone. You know what I mean? Cuz that's just destiny where it's going. If you don't like a certain artist, the type of music he's doing, then don't listen to it, but you can't say you don't like hip hop. You know, hip hop is a culture and you know, if Biggie and Pac were still around today, who knows what level they would have taken it to right now. So, I think that, you know, hip hop is still growing. I love a lot of new artists that's out there. I mean, there's so many artists right there. I don't even know all of the artists, but I try to keep up with all of them right now. But there's certain artists that kind of stand out and some don't. But I think it's growing and I think it's going to get even bigger going towards the future. Because look at it, it started off in New York, in the Bronx, wherever you want to call it. And look, it's international now and it's big and it's just continuing to get bigger. Ink is the only person that could stop himself from getting into whatever heights that's in front of him. You know, he's crazy talented. His story is real. You know, there's one point where he's living out the car with his family, things like that. You know, he lived a struggle. So if he could just learn how to put that struggle into his music and let people understand that he's real, where he's coming from, I think the door, the horizons is big for him. You know, I think um, he definitely has the work ethics. You know, when I asked him to uh, come out here and hang with me, it wasn't even it wasn't even no thought. He's like, when we going? You know, so the love is there, and, I, and there's something about him. He has that it factor, you know what I mean? There's something about that dude. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. I can't really pinpoint it, but he has the it factor, and I believe in him, and I feel like, you know, this, the sun is going to be great for him in the future.